Exactly as you do. But that breach is responsible for every security crisis we've had, including today's. If you want me to stop these guys, I need to know what kind of data they've had access to. You're right, you're right. I'm sorry if I seem evasive. The truth is, I've had a lot of other things on my mind. I'm trying to secure a future here for all of mankind. I can't let trivial security concerns get in the way when people like Bill Tagger want to see me fail. No, you're my best warrior, Adam, and I, and I trust you. I know the loyalty you've shown me will only continue as we take this fight into the future. Because that's what's really important, isn't it? The future. Uh... Huh. Patch for what? Adam, are we done here? <laughs> Whoa, don't get me wrong, boss. I'm not questioning your leadership. I'm just concerned that the data you streamed might have been compromised, accessed by the hacker who attacked us. If so, how do you suggest I handle it? I see. I guess I hadn't considered that. But I still don't know that you need to. Your concerns about the data being compromised won't really be an issue as long as we stay strong and work together as a team. That's all I've ever tried to do here. <clears throat> Find the best, most qualified people I can and bring them all together so they can complement each other. Now, Megan understood that. That's why she suggested I hire you in the first place. To help this little family of ours survive. Megan? Boss, what does Megan have to do with any of this? I thought we were discussing a security breach. She doesn't. I mean, I, I mean not, not directly. If I'm reluctant to share the data with you, it's because there's legal issues involved. Every company has its secrets, son. And Megan's research was a big part of ours. But the data I streamed has nothing to do with her. It wasn't even proprietary in nature, so I don't want you wasting any more time harping on it. The shareholders expect me to take care of it, and I will. So leave it to me to deal with from here. Boss, I'm sorry if you think this is a big waste of time. I just don't want to see anyone else getting hurt because of information I didn't have. But if you really believe this data can't hurt us, that it won't come back somehow and bite us in the ass, then I'll trust you. I can't be 100% sure of something like that, Adam. No one can. God damn it. You gonna tell me now? All right. Look. The truth is, I set up a confidential data channel for a private investigator, someone who can run covert background checks on people, potential new recruits like you. You what? I had to, Adam. You were a liability, remember? You'd just been fired from SWAT. Now, Megan believed in you, but I had to be sure. Look. I don't want this to come between us. I'll send the files to your computer. You can see for yourself what he dug up. But Adam, you'd better be sure. Why? What do you mean? 
I mean, sometimes the past should stay in the past. Once you see that data, you can't unring the bell. I'll understand if you want to read the files immediately, but please don't forget your priorities. Farid is waiting to take you to China. Hmm. Why do you need to set up a hole in the firewall? Just to have a private investigation on me. Done, or do I get to talk to what's his face again? Pritchard. Dinner tonight. Oh. I must head to Utah instead. I don't want to go to China yet. <laughs> My inventory is full.
first information. I can jump high. Services are temporarily offline. <coughs> Wait, didn't I knock Tyndall out? What are you doing here? I think you know why I'm here, Tyndall. I want Corella's security footage back. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm Seraph Industries' chief of security. I'm pretty sure I can find out about an edited security tape, so don't bullshit me. Ah, shit. Listen, Jensen, I never wanted things to get this bad. I'm not a bad guy. I feel for Corella, I really do. But sometimes, for a good cause, you have to get your hands dirty. Oh. There's a good cause now? Oh, I see. You think I'm selling the stuff, right? I understand why this would seem like an obvious motive, especially to an ex-cop. But trust me, you shouldn't always take things at face value. I'm not selling the neuropazine. I'm giving it away. Giving it away? To who? To the people who need it. You think everyone gets augmented by choice? No. Shit happens. And then what? You're saddled with neuropazine injections for the rest of your life. And that shit costs money. But what choice do you have? Without the drug, you'll die. Rejection syndrome, crippling pain, that just ain't right. So I did the only decent thing to do. I stepped up. Whatever your reasons, Corella wants out, and it's his right. Blackmail is still blackmail. I won't leave without that footage, Tyndall. I'll screw the footage. Right now, I've got two local pushers on my back because they say my philanthropic actions are undercutting their profit. That's not your only problem. A gun-toting client was waiting for you in your apartment earlier. Really? In my oh, apartment? Oh, was a client? Shit. The dealers probably sent him. Tell you what. I'll deal with the client later. You take care of the dealers, and the footage is yours. Uh... Forget it. You got yourself into this mess. It ain't my problem. Can't say I'm surprised. If you don't even care what your company does to thousands of people, why would you care about one tiny life? Give me the damn footage. Don't make me shoot you. <laughs> Look, I told you. If you want me to give you that security footage, you're going to have to get those pushers off my ass first. Forget it. You got yourself into this mess. Can't say I'm surprised. Hmm. <laughs> I'm not gonna shoot him, I'll just knock him out. <laughs> do, 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 do. Oh, yeah. No, he wanted me to kill some people that are threatening to kill. Did you get it yet? Adam, please. You have to get that security footage back. 